NC Simul is categorized with projects. Here, when I select a project, I can select a job, and when I double click on my job, NC Simul automatically loads it. NC Simul is designed in Windows for Windows with the ease of use of icons. Here, in my resource window, I can select uh, my machine that I'd like to use. Um, here in my job window, I have my machine, my clamp, my stock, and my program. In this window here is my 3D window, which is my 3D representation of the machine. To my right is my program window, which contains the ISOCO that NC Simul interprets. Last is my information window. NC Simul is a unique three-step process. Step one, program decoding. Step two, simulation. And step three, analyzing the result. Step one of NC Simul is program decoding. As soon as we introduce the program to our job, it is automatically decoded. The first thing we can see is the toolpath preview for each tool throughout the job red for rapid, blue for cutting, and green for cutter compensation. When we have an alert during program decoding, it is shown in our alerts tab. When we click on the alert, it is shown the block of code in our program and also shown in our 3D window on the wireframe. We can also use our status tab, which is a detailed report on that block of code and every block of code in our program. To correct the alert, we would first click on the alert, highlight the block of code, make an edit, modify the G-code, save, and then click yes. NC Simul reanalyzes the code, and now we no longer have the alert. Now we've corrected potential alarms from occurring on the real machine. Last, we can see the tool change macro, just like on the real machine on your shop floor. Step two of NC Simul is simulation. To begin simulation, we would first click on the simulation tab. Once we click play, NC Simul begins to remove material. Here, I can zoom, pan, and rotate due to the OpenGL environment. When we have a collision, NC Simul highlights the collision in our alerts tab and shows us in our 3D window and our program window. To make a correction, I can simply go into my tool library, modify the tool length, save, and continue. NC Simul reanalyzes the code and allows me to continue running the simulation without stopping. Here we can see NC Simul continues running the simulation, looking for further collisions and alerts. This completes step two, simulation in NC Simul. Step three of NC Simul is analyzing the result. Here, when we click on the analysis tab, we can see several different forms of measurements that we can perform. First, I'll switch to my table view. Here, I'll take a thickness measurement of the wall of the part. Next, I can check the angle from this face to this face here. Next, I can use the comparison. With the color scale representation, we are able to compare our part model to our simulated model. Here in the corner, we have some gouge material. Here, we have some surplus material left over from a missed machining process. Last, we have the cutting plane. Here, when I create a new plane, NC Simul allows me to cut the part at any level that I choose. This completes step three of NC Simul, analyzing the result. During simulation, NC Simul allows us to optimize the tool length under the holder by going into our parameters and selecting length under holder optimization. Here, I can enter a clearance value and click OK. Once I click play, NC Simul is calculating the minimum length required to cut the material and prevent a collision. 
Here, NC Simul calculates from the bottom of the tool to the tool holder and determines the shortest distance needed to prevent a collision. Here, in our info tab, we can see the length under holder calculation, the defined length, the minimum length that's required, and all I need to do is go into my tool library. For this example, it's tool 1. In compensation, here's the value that's defined. I'll enter in the minimum length by rounding up to 0.915. The changes are saved dynamically. I click Save, and I can continue running. Now we've just optimized the tool length for tool number 1, and we can do this throughout our entire job. This is Tool Length Optimization in NC Simul. NC Simul has a documentation module called NC Doc. Here, when we select Publication, NC Simul automatically opens NC Doc. Here, we can modify a technical data sheet by simply putting in and modifying what we've already put in from before. Here, I can put in a specific comment, I can change the location, I can add a picture of the machine that's being used. And here I have my fixture and program location, program zero, and my fixture zero. Next page, I can put in what is called a process picture. Here it shows each tool, its cutting time, and what that tool cut for that sequence. This is for each tool throughout the job. Here we have some individual information for each tool, the tool length, length under spindle, length under holder, and finally we have the tool times. Here we have the complete cycle times that are calculated throughout the job. When we want to create the PDF, we click Save and then click OK. Back in NC Simul, we'll go to Output, Documentation, and then we can open up our PDF. Here we can see the PDF that we've just created, our cover page, our page for our documentation. Here we have the page for our tools and its machining sequence, and then finally the tool times. This completes the presentation of NC Doc in NC Simul. NC Simul has an additional feature called NC Player. The player is free to download and is a great tool for collaborating with the shop floor and customers. Here, when I select play, NC Simul runs a simulation and records. After the simulation is complete, NC Simul automatically creates a 3D file called an NP3. To play the file, we would go into the media file, player, and then open the NP3 file. Here, NC Simul Player opens and represents the same 3D environment as NC Simul. When I click play, NC Simul allows me to zoom, pan, and rotate just like NC Simul, switch between views, and have the same exact environment as we did in NC Simul. After the simulation, we can perform measurements such as a thickness, we can also do a point to plane and turn on or off the wireframe as we choose. This is the NP3 feature in NC Simul NC Player. NC Simul has a unique feature called optimization. In optimization, the cutting condition calculates the maximum cutting values for each tool. Here in the info tab, we can see the max fee per tooth, max chip thickness, and max chip flow throughout the program. Now we will optimize this program from the cutting conditions. Here I have chosen cutting conditions adaptive. This will allow me to apply the max cutting conditions that were calculated from this tool sequence. Here we can see the initial maximum values for the sequence. 
Now NC Simul will respect these values throughout the entire sequence, thus optimizing the tool's maximum potential. Here at the bottom of the info page, we can see the initial time, the optimized time, and the difference between the two, a savings of 16%. This completes optimization in NC Simul.